content creators, you know, we value our gear. And we understand that that value doesn't come from just the actual cost of the product, but in its ability to enable us to actually capture our artistic vision and for a lot of us to help us, you know, generate an income. Um, you know, in order to ensure that that happens, we need to make sure our gear is going to work exactly as we intend every time we pick it up. We need to make sure that it's in perfect functional order. We're not going to get to our shoot location and find out, hey, things are not working or uh, there's dust all over my gear, etc. Now, the only way to ensure that that happens is by properly caring for and maintaining our gear. And that happens both at home and on location. The first place where maintaining and caring for our gear occurs is at home. When we're at home, we want to make sure that we actually store our gear in a good, dry, safe place. You don't want to be leaving it in your car. You don't want to have it in the high traffic area where lots of people are walking around. It can get bumped into, knocked over, anything like that. And we definitely don't want it in an area that's very humid as some issues like mold can occur. Another thing I would recommend doing is when you're not using your products to keep the lens caps, both the front and back and the body caps on. When you're unpacking your bag or packing your bag at home, inspect your gear before you leave the house. Make sure that you know um, it's clean, that it's all functional, that you've got all your batteries, things like that. Um, that's just gonna ensure that you don't have any surprises when you get to location. Let's say you do find that your product is dirty, um, you know, you can clean it. And that could be as simple as using a, an air blower on your lens or potentially, uh, you know, cleaning your sensor. Now, obviously, if you're not comfortable doing something like that, um, there is the option to send it in. Uh, for example, Nikon Canada has our service center in which we will actually clean your sensor for you. The other location in which maintaining and caring for your gear is absolutely key is on location. And that could be, you know, actually at a studio or potentially on vacation, um, pretty much anywhere where you're going to use your camera. The first step in caring for your gear here is again, when you get to that location, just inspect it, make sure that it's clean, that there's no dust, anything that's going to potentially impact your final result. The next tip for maintaining your gear on location would be to be very careful about where you change your lenses. When you change your lens, you're opening up your camera body to the elements. There's now a big hole where your sensor is going to be that you can allow dust, water, debris to enter your camera. And obviously, we don't want that to happen. So be very aware if you're in like a beach setting or a desert, for example, and it's windy, or if you're in like a rainforest that's wet, uh, anywhere that can have an element of some kind or dust or debris enter your camera, you need to be very careful and take steps to ensure that nothing happens. Now, if you're fortunate enough to own a Z8 or a Z9, you actually have a feature that will help you in this regard. Um, we have something called the sensor shield that when you shut your camera off, the shield will come down and protect the sensor. It will keep dust and dirt uh, from entering the camera itself. You do have to turn it on within the camera settings. So if you do own those cameras, I would highly recommend you turn that setting on. The final tip for maintaining your gear on location would be to keep it in your bag or your travel case when you're not using it and keep that bag or case away from you. What I mean by away is in a place that is not going to hinder your ability to walk around and move. You know, if you're traveling and you're walking around, your bag could probably be or most likely will be on your back over your shoulder and that's fine. But let's say you're in a studio environment, you don't want to have it near your feet because if you're walking around, you know, you're shooting with your camera, you don't want to trip over it, you don't want to kick it, you don't want to have somebody else do that. Uh, you want to keep it in a place that's going to be safe and away from any potential risk.